No, she did not physically die. It was a fate much worse. Alice no longer had access to the king or his kingdom. She was on her own in a very, very hostile world. Alice is in the dark land now. She's going to need help getting back home. Leo? 
My son, I am sending you to the dark land. Many are trapped underneath the curse of the map. I need you to let them know that our kingdom is here for all to enjoy. Yes, Father. Oh, and Leo, I'll prepare a great banqueting table for all who accept the invitation. Let them know that they are welcome at the king's table. Yes, Father. Keanu, go to her, guide her, help her when trouble is near. And trouble will be near. But remember, Keanu, in the dark land, Alice will not be able to see you or hear your instructions until the door is open. Was too funny. Can I come home? Please forgive me. Boo hoo hoo. You belong to me now. No one can save you. Not even daddy. And just to make sure you don't get any bright ideas, Scorpio, my pet will watch you. This is where you run. Go. Alice already forgotten the sound of her father's voice. And yet, the mass deceived her, but hope was on the way. Meanwhile, in a different part of the dark, dark forest. Oh dear, I sure hope the big bad wolf doesn't attack me. I'm all alone and helpless at the dark forest. <coughs> oh no, is someone there? Whatever shall I do? Come out, come out, wherever you are. You, that was close. Come here. Oh no, let me go. You won't escape me. I'm coming after you. What is this place? Let go of me, devil child. I am sick of you and your greasy granny too. I'm gonna end you once and for all. And when I'm done with you, I'm gonna make a nice white granny soup. My name is Leo. I'm the big bad wolf. Aren't you scared of me? No. What's the point? I can't even frighten a little girl and her granny. Strangers walk into my forest like they're taking a stroll in the park. What's the point? Why are you seeking life in a place that's full of darkness? What? There is a better way. 
instead of hurting people and trying to scare them, why not try helping people who are already hurting? You're not fooling around here, are you? I have to get them before they get me. That's how we survive here in my neck of the woods. Only the strong will survive. I see. And how is that working for you? I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty strong when you're at your weakest. Where do you see you're from again? I'm from a place that's pretty close, yet it's far at the same time. You're from Fort Worth? <laughs> no, my kingdom is not of this realm. I can show it to you if you'd like. E yes, but how can I see a kingdom that's in a different realm? That's easy. Just close your eyes and believe you can see it. Here, let me help you. That sound! Those colors! What is this place? Home! My dad is having a banquet. Would you like to join us? You're inviting me, the big bad wolf, to your fancy kingdom and your fancy banquet. I belong to Dark Lord. Yeah, about that. You don't look like a big bad wolf to me. You look like loyal and faithful, like a dependable friend. Me? Faithful, loyal, and dependable? Yes, I will call you buddy, because you are my new friend. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you too, Leah. Buddy was so excited about his invitation to the king's banquet that he told everyone he encountered. He also decided to take Leo's advice to help the hurting, but he soon realized it is hard to escape your past, even if people are in the middle of a dark storm. Son, get back to town. Money is not an issue. That's nice to know. Sure, we can have it fixed in about three months. Oh, no, no, no. That's entirely too long. My wife and son will be back in less than a week. Well, we can expedite the work. Please, it will cost you more. Hey, guys, hey, can I help with the project? I got some materials that will make it go a little faster. What are you doing here, big bad? Dogs belong on leashes. Interesting that you would say this. My name is Buddy now, and I'm faithful, loyal, and dependable. Faithful? Loyal? Dependable? No, that's funny right there. I don't care who you are. That's funny. That's the biggest ball of powder I've heard in my life. What kind of games are you playing? What are you scheming? I'm not scheming, I promise. I just want to help. Something about him is 
change. He looks different. I don't care what he looks like or what he calls himself. A big bad wolf will always be a big bad wolf. I don't trust you. Your ancestors killed our ancestors. You've tried to break into our house several times. You have huffed and puffed and destroyed our homes time and time and time again. So no, we don't want your help. We don't trust you. Maybe you should give him a chance. It's not about the ancestors. Things could have changed by now. No! <laughs> he has a point. I don't trust this mangy mutt. Didn't you try to abduct the little girl and eat her granny? Well, yeah. But that was before I met Leo. He called me faithful, loyal, and dependable, and a friend. No one has ever said such nice things about me. And now I want to help my community and help the herding. You're still just a dog. Get out of here, and I'm not going to say it again. OK, geez, you don't got to be so rude about it. Now back to you. We can have the house fixed for in the week, but it's going to cost you. Three pigs got to work on a bear's house, but Jay was a very greedy pig. He ignored booting calls and suggestions from his brothers. He cut corners just on their house project just so he can keep Papa's bear money for himself. with two days to spare, we have extra money, extra supplies, and extra time. This is a win. When you put it like that, it is a win. I don't know. It looks a little wobbly. Looks like you boys have a lot of work to do. 
and not a lot of time to do it. You know, I was a carpenter back in the day. You don't say. Mr. Leo, sir, this is all my fault. I was being dishonest and great. Jay, the past is the past and let's leave it there. Oh, and one more thing, we're friends now. You can drop the mister. Thank you, sir. Uh, I mean, thank you, friend. John, Dale, buddy, what are we doing around here looking at each other when this cottage is not going to build itself? Let's get to work. Leo, John, Jay, Dale, and Buddy all went to work on a, on a bear's cottage. Not only was the structure up to code, but every door and window had reinforced locks just to keep out little girls with golden curls. Well, 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 would you look at that? You guys pulled it off. Pretty would have killed each other by now. Excellent work, boys. Good job. Man, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I was so wrong on so many levels. Can't go around judging people based on their past. Everyone deserves a second chance. It's okay, brother. I forgive you. Thank you again, Leo, for helping us. We would have been lost without you. Yeah, you're a real lifesaver. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, actually, I'm looking for a lost princess. This is why my dad sent me here. She belongs to our kingdom, but she has lost her way. Well, we pretty much know everyone in Darkland, so we'll hope we find her. Thank you, but this mission is dangerous. I need you to know that before you agree to come along with me. We're not afraid of no big bat! We're not afraid of anything! We'll attempt the mission to find the lost princess. That's great news! Now, who's hungry? Thank you, Keanu. We still have to figure out what happens to the lost princess. Sheesh. While Leo was assigning his new friends their mission, the lost princess, Alice, needed to find a place to stay. But the longer Alice stayed in Darkland, the harder for her to remember her father. Please be home. I'm so cold and hungry. If they would just give me their leftovers, I would be grateful. May I help you? Ma'am, my name is Alice. I was wondering if I could possibly spend the night and maybe have some leftovers. I promise it won't be a problem at all. Do not call me ma'am again. Do you understand? I find it offensive. Yes, Yes, I understand. Come inside. You are filthy. Do not touch anything. You may use the washroom down the hall and to your left. Mother, what on earth are you doing? Why have you contaminated your our home with that filth? Girls, please. Good for to have some other part of the household. With that trash? Cindy, Wendy, I am a very busy woman. I don't have the time to tend to the house. And you, my beautiful dandelions, are to find a rich suitor to care for us all. Yes, yes mother. mother. Now fix the energy in this house to make our new home. Excuse me. Guests feel welcome. Yes, yes mother. mother. Thank you for your hospitality. I feel much better now. My dear, you must be starving. These are my daughters, Cindy and Wendy. They will show you to the kitchen. We, we what? We will show her where everything is in the kitchen. Oh, so she can clean it all up later? Let's go, sister. We must be good host right best. Mirror, mirror in my head. 
hand, call the ruler of Dark Land. My lord, the girl is here. Excellent. Scorpio brought her straight to you. Make her feel at home. Yes, my lord. On the first night, they, they gave Alice some new clothes, a warm milk, and a place to stay. But soon after, their true natures were revealed. Alice was treated like an unwanted stepchild. She was made to scrub the floors, do the laundry, and cook their meals. I'm listening. The king's dominion is spreading. One of its creatures came to my house looking for the girl. If he returns, you know what to do. Yes, my lord. <sighs> okay. This is what I signed up for. bother you again, ma'am, but the princess, she's here, isn't she? Surely, I don't know what you mean. I don't know. It's just that. Do not call me ma'am again. Do you understand? I find it expensive. Hey, what if I'm the king's daughter? There's no way. Because I am. Are you so sure that you're the king's daughter? Well, I'm pretty, I'm skinny, and I'm made for royalty. Okay, sure, you are named for royalty. Do something with your hair. Alice! My hair! Alice! Hey, what if Alice is the king's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> the king's daughter? Me? No, that's impossible. I belong to Darkland. This is who I am. This is who I'll always be. But yet, there's something so familiar about it. Too. wicked daughters toss Alice into the basement. But to Alice's surprise, it wasn't just a basement, but a dungeon corridor. Hey! Oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything. What's this on my face? It's stuck. No, 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 princess. That belongs to me. You belong to me. Thank you, Princess. You're opening the door and letting 
bring us in. Now there's no way you're getting back to the king. I am yours and you are mine. Who are you? I'm known by many names. Some call me the Prince of the Darkland or the Ruler of the Realm. Others know me as Judas, Serpent King, or the Mask. You may simply call me Master. Why are you doing this to me? To you? I don't give two flying bats about you. I'm doing this to him. Your pop is tired of the father. He stole everything from me. I once had it all. The fancy parties and the banquets. I was the life of the party. Your father couldn't stand that I got more attention than he. And he kicked me out of his kingdom. And I despise him ever since. I vowed to destroy everything and everyone he loves. Starting with you, princess. Oh, Help me, please! Why, you ugly!
escape Darkland thanks to a group of unlikely friends and the ultimate gift, a sacrificial love. As promised, the king had prepared a great banqueting for everyone who accepted the invitation. Everyone was drinking, eating, and being merry, everyone except for Alice. It's all my fault. Leo would still be here if it wasn't for me. It's okay, Princess Alice. It was, Leo would have died for any one of us. It was just a matter of time. Daughter, be of good cheer. This is a story of two kingdoms parallel to one another. In the first kingdom, there are no limitations or diseases. Only beauty, love, and laughter within the king's domain. Hey guys, did you miss me? Leo! How? Because I am a first kingdom citizen. The mask could not kill me because the dark land is not my home. Oh, and look who I found on my way here. Jay! Hi, my brothers! You're here. All of my brothers! In the first kingdom, there are no limitations or diseases. Only beauty, love, and laughter within the king's domain.